Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be working on quite possibly my favorite statue figure that I've done so far. This amazing Dark Knight Returns resin uh, printed model. I am, I just, I love this thing. Okay, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how I painted up this Dark Knight resin model. I love this thing. Uh, I got it over on ArtStation. The links will be below. It is amazing. And why I really dig this particular, this particular sculpt is it reminds me so much, because it's pretty much modeled on the comic book, The Dark Knight Returns. This bulky suit, yes it was bulky in the Superman movie, but it, it really just looks like it from the comic. The gun he uses, uh, like the this, this sonic cannon he uses. Uh, I just, I, I love that comic. I picked it up off the shelf and it's got some of the, it's got the best Batman Superman fight scene. I think it might have been the first time we saw a true Superman Batman fight scene. Uh, I picked those things up off the shelf and when I saw this I knew it had to be one to print. This is all done on the El Gumars. Again, I love that printer. Links below, their affiliate links, uh, click on those. Channel gets a little bit of cash. I buy more resin when I print more things. That's how it works. But, um, just an amazingly detailed and fun model. Uh, again, links below for it. Uh, support the artist, it's fantastic. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna remember to have the artist's names written down so I can read them, but it's in the links below in the description. Let's go ahead and take a look at how I painted this guy up. Okay, so this is already after I've given everything a little bit of a light sanding and I primed it using that awesome to me a primer, the links below. I love that for fine detail stuff. And I mixed up some of the Vallejo paint in like some, some of the metallic silver and black together to get that silvery color. And in this black color that looks like sort of a fabric-y color is again, more is mostly black, but a little bit of the silver, but it didn't have enough. So then while it was still wet, I went ahead and just sort of painted over and blended in and mixed in the black with some silver. And I did that kind of uh, all over the place. If it wasn't uh, silvery enough, if I did it too black, I went ahead and added more silver. If it was silver, and not black enough, I did the opposite. So it's stuff you really got to play with to see, to, to get what you want. Now, I've painted it up and I am placing, since the, the legs are separate like this, I glued down one leg and I glued down the other, holding the sort of uh, underwear part, the pant part in place, so I knew that it would match up. Then I went ahead and put that on and let it dry. Now, I'm not using accelerant here because at this point, uh, if I try to use accelerant, it's gonna take uh, paint off. And I'm just slowly building this model up putting it together piece by piece. You notice that some of the keys are gone. Um, I was having a hard time getting the keys to fit into the space just because, you know, resin prints, they seem to, you know, the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? There's, there's just not enough space. I guess <laughs> it's not the right word, but it's what happened. So I'm going to put the cape on and you can see this thing is really starting to form up. Again, a really simple paint job. I'm using black, I'm using silver, I'm mixing it up in various, you know, consistencies to make sure that um, it, it, it's going to work out. And here's the face, super happy with it. I couldn't shoot this because it's so tiny, but I use a, a couple of different Vallejo uh, flesh tones and then I use their dark wash. And the dark wash, what it does is it's sort of, it's almost like a weathering where it sort of puts that, you know, um, uh, darkened look that sort of uh, I guess darkened look is the only thing I can think of that really sort of starts giving it some more uh, shape it sort of adds some nice highlights uh, or some nice shadows and, and sort of still keeps your highlights and here I'm just you know sort of spreading some of that um, that dark tone from the Vallejo uh, wash kit on some of the pieces and you can see how it sort of still keeps the highlights pretty highlighted uh, but it will go ahead and give the um, 
give the crevices and where there should be some shadows a little bit of a shadow look. And you're going to see that really here where it just darkens it up a little bit but keeps the highlights. And I was really happy with this, uh, this stuff. Um, uh, you know, for everyday things like this and that faces, I'm not sure if it's really all that beneficial. I do like what it did to this armor. You can see that it's also adding a bit of warmth to it. So you've got your chrome color there, but this wash, it's also sort of giving it this neat sort of patina to it, this extra uh, depth, and that's what you're going to get with washes. And I'm just going through and... You know, due to the placement of the camera, I'm trying a new setup. Uh, I'm sort of just like holding the brush by the end of it <laughs> as I go around the camera. Now, I know I really needed to weather this belt up. Uh, you know, uh, I debated, am I going to go silver with this or blackish with this? But, you know, to me, Batman's belt is yellow. So I went with a muted yellow tone. And, yeah, now I am just going to weather that up so it looks dirty and grimy. I started using the washes, and it just wasn't getting them uh, as dirty as I needed them. So I went ahead and I added a little bit of a black uh, pigment, a little black Vallejo to that to really uh, darken that up and turned out really well and here it is here is the dark knight and i took some stills uh, again really super heavy you can see how that dark tone really adds to that and that's not just one flesh tone that is you know base flesh tone plus a little bit of red in it plus a little bit of bluish in it to really get those tones you build them up super happy with this model the detail is just incredible so there it is the dark knight build i love this figure it is probably my most favorite figure that i've built and painted and i've got some more we'll be showing in some different videos I love this thing. If you're interested in picking it up, check out the links below to the artist's page. Uh, it's just fantastic. And I, I can't say enough about this thing. Um, if you're interested in picking up anything else that I use to build it or paint it, check out the links below. There are affiliate links. There's a link to the Algu Mars down there uh, and the Algu Mars Pro. Uh, I use the Algu Mars. I love the thing. I've printed thousands of milliliters through it and it is just a workhorse of a resin printer. Uh, if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. And this way you'll see really quickly, I guess, when other videos pop up. I gotta get some coffee in me because uh, I'm getting a little dry. I've recorded five of these intros and outros. I love this coffee mug, uh, Captain America. So, <laughs> again, if you like the video, click like, subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. Um, I get some really fun videos coming up, and uh, I'm just having a fun time. <laughs> So again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Take it easy and have a great day.